welcome you back to the next lesson on the topic morphology of mushroom mushrooms contain different parts from this lecture we are going to learn about the different parts of mushroom mushrooms are macrophages with distinctive fruiting bodies fruiting body that is a fleshy part it may be epigeous or hypogeous epigeous the germination start from the above ground level and hypogeous the same germination start from the below ground level mushrooms we can see with our naked eyes and pick by hands this mushroom fruiting body may be umbrella like shape or different shapes different colors and different sizes these are the different parts of mushroom the first part cap or pileus this is called cap or pileus so next part stalk or stip or stem this is this stem part and next one gills so this part called gills part so it is a spore bearing part and next drama hymenium sub hymenium basidia basidiospore cystidia paraphysis so all the part that is consist inside of the cap so next veil so veil is a below part of gills and valva this is the valva it is a base of mushroom and annulus ring so this is present in the mid of the stem the position will be different this is the cap or pileus it is expanded portion of fruit body so it may be very thick fleshy membranous or corky in nature on the underside of the cap the pileus and gills are situated mushroom have a stem and a cap and the gills part that is present in the underside of the cap the gills can produce trillion numbers of microscopic spores the spores similar to pollen or seeds the drama hymenium subhymenium these are the parts presented inside of the gills in drama it present the center of the gills it consists more mycelial threads that is interconnected and it may be run parallel each other the drama cells may be very long or short so next part hymenium the hymenium is the tissue layer of the cell it contain the spore bearing cells and next one sub hymenium so it is outside of the drama so some cells that can branch out and make a short cells it form a thin layer that is called sub hymenium and the next part basidia and basidiospore these part located inside of the gills part in basidia the sub hymenium tissue gives and rise to make a long club shaped cells these cells that can be parallel with each other presented in the surface of that this part the club shaped cell called basidia so it have two or three spine like projections that is called sterigmata in basidia spore the basidia spores are globus to elongated in shapes this is called basidiospores this is sterigmata and this one is basidium and the basidiospores length uh, length from 2 to 40 micron with rough or smooth margin the color of the basidiospores from colorless to black in color the next part paraphysis the paraphysis presented next to the conidium this is called paraphysis and cystidia it is a kind of sterile cells the shape will be in flattened bladders like shape and it may be large cells found on the sporocarp so in case the cystidia cells may be present inside of pileus or stalk in pileus means this kind of cells called pilocystidia in stalk it is called callocystidia and next part veil it is a thin tissue membrane that covers the cap this is the veil part when the mushroom was immature the pileus and stem that is covered with a tissue membrane when the baby mushroom start to grow the upper portion of the button that can expand it and form as a cap that time the tissue membrane was tear and hang down from the cap this is the veil and next part stip this is called stip otherwise called stem or stall it helps to supporting the cap or pileus and the next part valva valva is a cup like structure this is the valva it is a base of mushroom and next part annulus ring this is the annulus ring the shape like a ring or collar in structure 
and this annulus is being presented on this tree. Then the gills are divided into five types based on the attachment of the gills to the tip part. It helps to identify the species of mushroom. The first one, free gill. This is called free gill. Uh, when the gill don't touch the strip and adnate gills. This is the adnate gills. When the gills are attached directly to the stream. And decurrent gill. This is decurrent gill. When the gills extend down to the stream. And next, admixed gill and sinuate gill. Admixed gill, if the attachment of the gills is only by the part of the stream. And sinuate gill, when the gills are near the stalk in a deep notch. And next one, types of cap are pileus. The basic shape of cap that is umbrella and with other shaped also. First one, convex. It is a small bowl shape and pulvinate. It is a tall cushion shape and ovoid that is full egg shape and parabolic. It is a half egg shape. And next, cylindric in shape that is tall and billet shape like this. And next one, con shape that is oyster shape. This one is oyster shaped and next one in fandibuli form that is spinal shaped this is called in fandibuli form and next one depressed shape that is saucer shaped cap and next shape amplicate that is navel like depression and next one plane that is flat cap and next one papillate that is nipple shape and last one ambonate that is centralized nap present on the center of cap and the cap surface are also different types. First one smooth. There is no defining features found on the surface. This is the smooth mushroom. So it has a smooth surface. And next one uneven. This is example for uneven mushroom. It has a plumby surface. And next one rogues. It has a wrinkled or rough surface. And it is a rogulose. It has slightly wrinkled surface. And next one scoro biculate. It has a furrowed or pitted surface. And next, what is surface mushroom? This is what is surface mushroom. The surface, it has a small wart like patches. And next one, virgate. So virgate mushroom, it has a streaked surface. Next one, hygrophenase. That means a surface that is transparent when it will wait and opaque when it will dry. And next one, sericeous. It has a silky surface. And next, fibrillo surface. This kind of surface covered with a thread like filamentous. So, next one, squamous. The surface covered with like a scales. And next one, prinose. The surface covered with a white powdery substance. And last one, zonate. A surface containing zone or bands. And next one, aerolate. The aerolate surface, it has a cracked surface. And next one, rhymose, a surface covered in a crack. And next one, lacquid, it has a waxy surface texture. And next one, viscid, a sticky glue-like surface texture. And last one, glutinose, it has a slimy surface. Thank you. See you on next video.